Oh, no, no. Tw excuse me. 25,000 square feet. Oh, okay. you're like, oh, my God. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Erin, and if this is your first time to our channel and you want to learn all there is to know about living in Richmond, Virginia, tap that like button, hit subscribe, and click that little bell so you're notified every time we release a new video. Hey everyone and welcome back to Living in Richmond, Virginia. Super excited to be doing another City versus City. And um, today is a really important one because this is Richmond versus Charlotte, North, North Carolina, our arch nemesis. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. And we are so lucky to have the lovely Brandy Reinschmidt. Hopefully I have pronounced Yes, it. yes, you got it. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Some good good German and be a yeah. background. I am a Messner by my maiden name, so I'm glad I didn't butcher it or else I don't know what would happen to me. So. My maiden name was a lot easier, but I lost that battle. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> See, I went the opposite. I got much easier sort of thing. So anyways, well, awesome, Brandy. So let's kind of get talking a little bit about how our cities are alike and different, uh, different so that can help people to choose what's the right spot for them. Awesome. So Brandy, if you were to just kind of, you know, think about how far the nearest amusement park would be, where would you be going and how long would it take you to get there? Yeah. So it's actually really cool. One really, really unique. So when I think of like amusement park, I think of California and Orlando, you know, like the big tourist attractions. Um, but we actually have one here in Charlotte called Carowinds. It straddles the North and South Carolina border. So depending on where you're at in Charlotte, it could take you five minutes. It could take you 15 minutes. But furthest, you're looking at about 35 minutes to get there. So it's not quite the size of, you know, Disney or, or any of that. But it is a good size. And they still do like the Halloween things and they do the Christmas things. Um, so to ensure, to answer your question about 15 minutes on average, I would say, um, Easy. yeah, it's kind of cool. Cause we don't have like, there's no tourism that comes to Charlotte, right? It's just, we don't have those big theme parks and everything. So nothing's drawing people here tourist wise, but we kind of get all those benefits that mm -hmm. you would get living in a city that does that. So you sure. guys have, what is it? Kings Dominion up there? Yes, you are very okay. well educated. And okay. actually, to the best of my knowledge, Carowinds and Kings Dominion are the same parent companies, or at least they were at some point. Okay. So I don't know if okay. they still are. I don't um, know. I have to look at that. But they're probably very, from what I know, very similar sort of thing. And, and kind of the same thing for you guys. There isn't a big draw to the Richmond area for the big touristy things, like, you know, say a Disney or uh, any of the big things like that. But we do have that. And for the most part, from most of Richmond, right about the same as you guys with your Carowinds. Kings Man is about 15 to 30 minutes max from anywhere in Richmond. So that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, we do have, um, for other ones though, we do have Bush Gardens, which would be about an hour and 20 minutes from the Richmond area. Okay. And then right around that area too, we have um, Water Country USA. So oh, okay. those are kind of our, our amusement park sort. Are thing. they larger than Kings Dominion? Um, I would say that Bush Gardens is probably pretty comparable. Okay. It might be a little bit different. You know, uh, the landmass might be a little bit different, but I think of them about the same yeah. sort of thing. Like right. same, what's, yep. Okay. Definitely, definitely. All right. Yeah, cool. So, Brandy, if if you lived in the Charlotte area and it was like, hey, you want to go um, spend time at the best park in town, where would you be going and about how long would it take you to get there? The best park in town? Park, yeah. Okay, so Charlotte, if you look on a map, Charlotte is like a, a loop, right? There's two loops. There's the outer loop, which is 45, and there's the inner loop. So okay. right kind of inside that inner loop um, is Uptown. We don't call our city here downtown. We call it Uptown because of the okay. elevation, which I say elevation. We do not have mountains here. Right. <laughs> um, but right outside of that is Freedom Park. So it's kind of like Charlotte's Central Park. It's okay. huge. Um, I want to say it has like 72 acres, but don't quote me on that one, but they've got all sorts of sports courts. Pickleball has become a huge thing here. Is that similar to up by you guys? Yes. It's getting real big up here too. Huge. So I'm from Florida originally and okay. I know it as like a retiree sport. 
Okay. And now we have restaurants and bars that are themed around pickleball. So mm -hmm. uh, we've got tennis courts, pickleball courts. Um, they do softball and baseball tournaments there. But then like right over a bridge, there's just this huge duck pond that has like shelters and just walking loops and everything. So it's really cool. And then in Freedom Park, it has, so we have greenways here. Do you guys have those? Talk to me a little bit, greenways. So they, they're throughout the entire city and they're just trails that go, they connect different parts of the city. So ours spans, I mean, I, I don't know where it starts or ends because it's an ongoing project, mm -hmm. but in Freedom Park, it has Little Sugar Creek Greenway where it's literally a paved path. Um, it's manicured, paved. You've got a river down a portion of it. Um, it's safe. It crosses roads underneath and over them. So you don't have to worry about traffic. Um, but that also goes throughout Freedom Park. So they make it really, really accessible. That is really, really nice. Yeah. So it's really cool. We call it our like little central park here. So oh, what gotcha. about you guys? Do you guys have, so Charlotte's really green too. Is Virginia like that? Yes, we are. We are very green too. And in fact, mm -hmm. I got to be down there um, for one of our like EXP, like recognition rallies route right around um, March timeframe. And it was so funny how much further along spring wise you guys were. And you're really not that far from us, um, but you guys were definitely a bit are definitely further along than we were. So, but yes, yeah. we are very green like you guys as well. Just y'all get greener <laughs> earlier in the year than we do. So. so do you guys have a lot of parks there? We do have a lot of parks. Um, and, you know, Charlotte, and Charlotte is very, probably very common or alike Richmond that when you refer to Charlotte, you're really referring to Charlotte and kind of like the surrounding kind of area sort of thing. It's like, you know, yes. sort of thing. Yes, the Charlotte metro area as a whole. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Richmond is very much the same too, that it's Richmond, the actual city is actually a very small portion of it. And then you've got all the big major uh, counties that are around there. Um, but we do have a lot of parks. I would say probably the most, the most notable ones are for the most part in the city. They would be, you know, say Maymont is a really famous one. If anyone comes to Richmond, um, you're going to be at Maymont for sure. Um, and that definitely has trails that are connecting yourself like all over, even going across one of the um, one of the uh, bridges across the river as well. Um, you know, petting zoo, um, a big fancy uh, mansion that was on there and the land with all the beautiful gardens that they light up at different holidays. And then just, you know, everyone picnics, does yoga there, does all those different things. Okay. Um, but then you've got like a Bell's Isle that you kind of go across onto and it has all the rocks. People go and do a lot of like... Um, you know, river water sports sort of things and do a lot of festivals and concerts and different things like that. So lots of different things that are centered around the river as well with trails and paths that run over and connect. Then we do have that capital bike trail that connects actually from Williamsburg um, up into the Richmond area. So a lot of cyclists that's become very popular, you know, that they're running that back and forth sort of thing. So, you know, okay. I think to get there from any any of the ones that I've said, like Maymont or Bells Island from anywhere in the Richmond area, you know, depending on where, if you're downtown, you could be five minutes away, just hard to find parking, or yeah. you could be <laughs> 20 minutes away from, you know, the different counties who are there. So very similar, very similar. Okay. You guys are just much bigger than we are. What much is your population there? Oh, that's awful. I should know exactly what it is. And uh, maybe the magic of uh, cameras will will pop up both of our populations and compare them. But right I know you guys, <laughs> what do you know? It's <laughs> yeah. um, I do know you guys are a good amount larger than us, though, okay. for sure, and and, okay. and bigger there. Um, and you can feel it kind of in your traffic. We'll get into that a little bit more. Yeah. Later, <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. You sure can. <laughs> um, Brandy, how about if you were going to go to a concert? First off, who would you be going to see? Oh. And where do you think is probably going to be the most likely place you're going to be going concert venue wise? How long does it take you to get there? Oh, okay. Concerts. I'm a, I'm a country person at heart. Okay. They're always like the best experience. However, and I can't believe I'm going to say this on a video. <laughs> I kind of want to see Taylor Swift in concert. Oh, me too. Only like the I'm seeing all of her things all over social media. I'm like, this woman is a performer. Oh yeah. Um. So I, if I was being asked that right now, that would be my answer. Of I would have to say Taylor Swift because she puts on one heck of a show. Apparently, for sure. Um, for sure. I would know two of her songs, maybe, maybe. So I'd have okay. to brush up on it. And then she, uh, someone with that size, 
show would be playing at our Bank of America Stadium, which is also our Panther Stadium here. Oh, that's um, right. Okay. And that is just city center right there. So wherever you're at, like amongst that loop, you can probably get there depending on traffic and construction. Um, it'd probably take you about 20 minutes to get there. Um, parking is a nightmare. So take some public transit. We have the light rail here. But um, other than that, we have like the Spectrum Center, which is our baseball stadium, or, um, our basketball stadium. They also do larger concerts. And then just a little bit north in Charlotte, we've got the PNC Amphitheater. So it's like gotcha. a pavilion. It's an outdoor amphitheater. So they do some good concerts there as well. Um, they have like a lot of lawn seating and stuff. So okay. um, yeah, I know it's kind of concert season's wrapping up, but what about you? Have you gone to any this year? Are you, are you looking forward to one or is there one you're like, I should have gone to this? Well, I, I feel like I've missed, there've been a couple of the summer ones or the early spring ones that inevitably I was traveling with work or doing something else. And I'm like, tag on it, they're there. Yeah. Um, so I missed some of those, but it, there are some that it seemed to be coming up um, in the September, October timeframe that I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to be there for sure. Okay. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, like, okay. Uh, what was the one? It, it, I'm kind of funny. Like I would love to see Taylor Swift as well. And I love her anyways. And I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a, um, I don't know. I am a, a. I am like a chameleon. I am like the Neapolitan of music lovers. I love so many different genres. I love country. I love pop. I love yeah. you know all of the different things. So I would really. There's so many of them I'd like to see. But I know I was bummed that I missed. Um, and I'm older than you, so bear with me. Uh, Boys to Men came through. I was so disappointed that yeah. I didn't see them. But. Um, for concert venues, I definitely would love to see Taylor Swift. That'd be great. I'd love to see Shania Twain. I think that would be amazing. She was just here, and she was amazing. <laughs> this, this, this personifies the difference in size of our cities because I would be very surprised if Taylor Swift and or um, Shania Twain would come to Richmond. We're just not that large of a city. Yeah. If we wanted to go to a really big venue like you've talked about, we're going to have to drive to probably go up to Northern Virginia or to Charlottesville that it's going to have a big enough stadium that it's going to be able to host that size. Um, I mean, we do have the um, we do have the uh, all the different things here, but we're more like the outdoor venues and the smaller venues. Mm -hmm. um, and then we do, but we do have a nice theater district. So um yeah, I would say we're probably going to have to drive a lot further than you do to go to any of the big ones because we don't have any big national teams that have the big stadium like okay. you guys do for sure. Right, yeah. so, so a little bit further. We'd have to drive about, you know, hour and a half, two hours to go to one of the big ones, either in D.C., Charlottesville or something like that. But we've got okay. some nice smaller ones for sure. Okay. Um, but definitely for the concerts, we do have a lot of um, cover bands that come in that play different kinds of music. Um, that's the big thing I'm on. Like if it's like an eighties or a nineties or like an ABBA cover band, I love that stuff. You're there for I it. Okay. I love that, that. That is like the most fun. All right. Okay. Let's talk about beaches because we know you in North Carolina and you have the beaches, but truly how long is it going to take you to go to the beach if you live in Charlotte and where would you probably be going? Yep. So it kind of depends on what you want for starters. So if you want kind of that beach vacation where you're going to have like beach bars and you're going to have lots of activity on the beach, you're probably going to want to go to like Charleston or Myrtle Beach. So okay. South, and those are each about three and a half hours. Okay. If you want a very quiet beach town, um, what does that show? It was filmed over in Wilmington. Um, oh, um, Mm -hmm. I know that you know what it is. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, it's good. Go? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Something okay. like that. One of those. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, but if Dawson you want like, Creek, that, Hill, that's um, right. Yes. Yeah, small town, quiet beach. You can go to Wilmington. It's about five and a half hours or the Outer Banks, which is about six hours away. So, okay. you get all, which is really cool. You get all different types of beaches. Mm -hmm. Depends on what you want. But um, Hilton Head, four hours away, Charleston, Myrtle Beach, three and a half hours away. Those are your closest. Where do you typically go? If you want to go to the beach, where would you go? It depends. It's so it depends. Okay. I've not been to Myrtle Beach since like high school. Okay. Um, so we're Charleston and Hillhead fans. Okay. 
Yeah, I like to have a little bit more to do. I've been to Top Sail a couple times. Mm -hmm. Um, Great Beach, very quiet. So it just depends on the type of vacation you want. Okay. Yeah, and you guys have Virginia Beach, right? Yeah, Virginia Beach. And then, of course, we do have your Outer Banks, which actually, it's so funny, from Richmond, we're closer to the Outer Banks than you guys are. You guys are what, closer to Snag's Head or... Yeah, yeah, to, to right. like Nag's Head, Kitty Hawk, um, yeah. Hill Devon Hills, right? Yeah, um, yeah it's, it's a hike from here. It really is. Well, now I'm like thinking about that. I guess if you looked at, you know, Aaron do geography, if I looked at it, it'd be like, yeah, that makes course, course sense. Because um, for like to get to Charleston from Richmond, six hours, yep. exactly, right? Okay. But to get to the Outer Banks, you know, the very tippy top things, um, it would be about three and a half hours from here. So it's not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, not um, bad. Virginia Beach would definitely be a bit um, more bumping, like things are going on sort of thing. And that would be about, right at about an hour and 45 minutes from us. Um, I'm, I'm, I like to do Virginia Beach. That's, that's fun every once in a while, you know? Is it, I, do you have a local, like do a lot of locals go there or do locals tend to go out to the Outer Banks or like if you guys wanted to spend a day at the beach or a weekend at the beach, like where would you go? Right, right. Um, well, if we were doing a weekend, we probably would go to Virginia Beach. That would be the easiest. Like there'd be the most hotels to choose from, all that stuff. And you have the more touristy like boardwalk. And then you also have like Sandbridge, which is further out. And that's much quieter sort of thing. Um, Outer Banks, you have to kind of, I would say plan a little bit more. You either know someone who lives in the Outer Banks or you have a vacation rental that's already worked out. For Richmond, though, a lot of people, what they do here is they go out to the river. So they go (laughs) out, (laughs) they go out further east and it's like, you know, the Rappahannock, the York, they're going out, uh, they're going out uh, to the river sort of thing. Um, But we don't have any really like, we have some river beaches you know, sort of thing. So we have a river that it is prior to COVID. I don't know if it's actually kind of come back around, but on the Catawba river here, that's okay. like a, a popular thing for college age kids, like float down. I think it takes like okay. a four or five hour float. Right. Um, but that's kind of the only river we have here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. How about, um, do you guys have big lakes? Um, yes, any big so lakes have- that are really close to you? Yep, we have two of them. Um, just north of Charlotte is Lake Norman, which is um, one of the largest man-made lakes. And then just south of Charlotte is Lake Wiley. Um, so there are also two very different experiences. Lake Norman being a larger lake, you're going to get a lot more boat activity on it. Um, there's also some restaurants. There's only a handful of restaurants on the lake where you can like pull up and stop and get mm-hmm. lunch and everything. But it is a very, very busy lake. Like Wiley is a bit quieter. You'll see a lot of people doing like water activities down there. I got you. Um, lakes are big because we have NASCAR here. So a lot of the NASCAR drivers buy the lakefront property. And I think that's what kind of started to put them on the map a little bit. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. So kind of the same. We do have a couple lakes. We have Lake Cheston, which is, uh, you know, further south, uh, quieter. But, you know, the different things there, I'd say probably – just about an hour or so from us, we have Lake Anna, which is a bigger, better known, and they do have a couple restaurants and things like that. More people are going to be there. So yeah, let's talk about NASCAR, Brandy, because Charlotte has definitely got some stuff on the NASCAR. How long does it take you to get there? So NASCAR is in, the actual track is in Concord. um, And from like the city center of Charlotte, right here and then you go this way up to that part of the circle um and it will take you about 35 40 minutes depending on traffic um i will say when there is a race in town that area does get quite congested okay and then we do have the nascar museum here in uptown charlotte which is a really fun day experience as well gotcha all right now are you a nascar person or no I'm not. <laughs> not. Okay. I am not, but I've heard that the races are pretty cool to go to. Have you ever been to one or are you a fan I of them? I haven't. And we yeah. have a track here too, the Richmond Speedway. I've certainly gone to many um, a Christmas market or to exchange our lockbox keys at the Speedway. You know, it's like the spot that everybody goes, but I still have never seen a race. So okay. we need to both make a pack. Both of us are in cities that have. We're gonna NASCAR go. races, we need to say by next time we, we talk, we're going to go us, to a race. We're going to yeah. do a race. And then we may come on here next time and be like all, you know, like with our numbers on, like our special <laughs> person, you know, 
we got to do that. Uh, our NASCAR is like on the outskirts of Richmond over in Eastern Henrico. Um, same thing. If there's a race going on and you forget and kind of go the wrong way, oh, not good, yeah. you know, so yeah. go from there. And right. how, so how far away is that from you guys? You um, from, from that, I would say that anyone could get there depending on where you are from central, you know, maybe, you know, 10 minutes to get there. Um, but from really out in any of the counties, you know, maybe 25 minutes or something like that. It's kind of up by the airport. So okay. not bad at all. Not okay. bad. At all. Um, okay. Let's talk about Brandy. If you wanted to go to the mountains, where would you be going and about how long would it take you to get there? Again, we've got tons of options. Um, so you can go, if you want to take just like a quick drive, you can go over to Asheville, which is about two hours away. Um, it's kind of like a little sister city of ours. Um, they are known for all their breweries, but they do have some really good hiking over there. Um, and you've got like the Blue Ridge Mountains. If you know, we can actually head up to West Virginia and get there in about four, five hours. Tennessee's about five hours as well, too. Um, mm -hmm. But we've got some really cute mountain towns over here, like. Uh, Banner Elk or over by um, App State over towards Boone is a really cute mountain town. Um, it's just about three hours away from here. So you've got a lot of different options. But here in Charlotte, if you're a big hiker and you like to go hiking, we actually have a couple mountains that are just about 30 minutes away from the city. Um, okay. yeah, Grandfather Mountain is right here. It's got a really cool view. Um, so we have little little mountains here if you just want to go for a quick hike. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys? Huh? Not bad at all. Not bad no, at all. No, no, no. What about you guys? Do you have a lot of hiking, a lot of mountains? I mean, um, I know we went up to Virginia or West Virginia to go skiing. Okay. Yep. But yep. never up to Richmond. Yeah. Yeah. No skiing in Richmond, you know. <laughs> and if there is, we're all in big trouble, right? Right. Um, <laughs> mountains for us, I, the closest would be kind of driving towards, you know, Charlottesville. It is Blue Ridge. Um, I would say right at about hour, 45 minutes, two hours sort thing. Um, and you know, we have the gamut, you know, if you want to be up in like major wine country, you're going to go north, I guess. Ooh, we don't yep. have wine country here. Yeah, wine, wine country of Virginia. It is, it has kind of become a little bit of a thing, you know, Charlottesville and into the mountains. There's a lot of stuff, particularly up like Middleburg, all the different things that they're very much the winery and wineries, but you know, for the apple picking, you know, it can just kind of go straight out towards the mountain. So like I said, about two hours, not too bad. Um, I, I think you guys probably do have a little bit more option wise. Um, we certainly could go North, um, but most of us be you know, about two, two and a half hours, just going West a little bit. So okay. too bad. not too bad, not too bad. Okay. Let's get away from all of the silliness and let's get more into what you really, really like to do. So, Brandy, tell us a little bit about like your favorite place to visit kind of like within your MLS coverage area. So like, it depends yeah. on what you want to do. So we actually have something here. It's really cool. It's called the White Water Center. Have you heard of it? No. Yeah, it's pretty. It was like when I first saw it when I moved to Charlotte, I'm like, what is this place and why didn't I know about it? So it's a man made, a, essentially, it was made as a training facility for the US Whitewater team, the US Olympic Whitewater team. It has since then become definitely like a local favorite. Um, okay. So it has a man made, literally, rapids where they have like different, uh, different levels. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then on site, they have. Um, I think eight restaurants, but you can do mountain biking, you can do um, flat water, so you can like rent a paddleboard out on the river. Oh, nice. Um, then they have, yeah, they've got a bunch of restaurants and they also do like a summer music series. Okay. Um, they, so they do a lot of ton of events over there. So if it's like a, a nice summer day out there, they do rock climbing, uh, ropes courses. So that's like a really fun day to, mm -hmm. to spend the day. If you're not feeling so adventurous, you just kind of want to like relax or something, um, head over to Davidson, which is just north of Charlotte. So it's on Lake Norman. Okay. Um, they have a really cute downtown area. They'll do like a farmer's market on the weekend. You can stop, get brunch, and then like walk a little bit, get lunch. Um, and it's right there on the lake. So it's always really pretty and kind of a good change of scenery from actual like Charlotte city life. But it's, again, about a 30-minute drive just straight north. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That does sound fun. That does yeah. sound fun. What about you? What's what is your go to? Are we theme parking it? Are we hiking it? What are we doing? Mm, okay, so this might kind of seem silly, but um, pretty much I like anything that I like anything that's going to make me 
laugh. Um, anything that's going to make me laugh or sing, if huh? you can get both of them together and, and eat. Okay. Laugh, sing, and eat, all of those things combined together. So I'm probably going to say my favorite thing to do is if we actually get tickets to the Altria, which is our like little our little um, kind of theater district of what sort down in Richmond. And they tend to bring some really fun shows in. Um, there's one in particular that came in that I think was like the perfect combination of it was uh, Dirty Dancing Live, you know, like the movie. Yes. So they play the movie up on the big, like, you know, giant screen. And then on the, th on the stage, they have a live band. Plus they have a couple singers that are essentially performing the parts so it's like the movie is still playing in the background, but then they're live performing like the music and all, and they're like in the garb, you know, in the dress and all. Took a bunch of uh, clients and girlfriends there. I have not laughed, laughed, sang, and, you know, of course, eaten the stuff from concessions because you have intermission and stuff like that. So hard in my like, in a long time sort of thing. We had the best time. Oh my gosh. And okay, so what is this called? It's called, uh, well, it was the Altria Theater, where that normal, okay. like, normal, like, Broadway shows that they bring in. Normally, you're not, like, going to be, like, up in your seats, like, dancing and singing all, or, like, out in the, like, you know, on the floor, everybody all dancing and doing things. But this was different. It was, like, this interactive, it was called Dirty Dancing Live. Oh, my gosh. It was funny. so fun. I hope they bring it to you guys, because it was yes. a blast. It was a blast. That one's so fun. That was, that was. Are that you was fan of Dirty Dancing? Oh, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. So Lake Lure, I think you might want to fact check me on this, but Lake Lure, I think is where it was filmed. Mm -hmm. And that is about an hour and a half away from us. And it's so pretty if you've never been. Oh, I'll have to check it out for sure. Oh, you have to. It's, it's this cute, I mean, a little town, right, but right. Um, it's so pretty. Precious. Oh, yes. Yeah. So I just love, I love, I love that stuff. How about of like a favorite restaurant for you? What's like your favorite place to go in the Charlotte area? Just <sighs> one even. Okay, so people are going to disagree with me on this one for sure. Doesn't when we matter. first moved sure. here, everyone kept telling us, Charlotte's such a food city. It's such a food city. It, it was, it's not, it's not. I, in my opinion, I don't think it is. <laughs> no, I know anybody who watches this. <laughs> Unpopular <laughs> opinion. Yeah. But, um, whatever you want you can get it like if you want indian you want thai you want mexican you want Italian, whatever you want is here and it's going to be good great no not in my opinion but ah uh, my favorite if i had to pick one okay um so we've got a couple we have steak 48 which is a steakhouse that just moved here and i do know that that is a larger Okay. Um, chain nationwide, but it's like consistently on the top best steakhouse list. So it's definitely something worth trying. Okay. Um, and then for something local, we've got um, Fork and Barrel, which is up towards Lake Norman. Okay. And it's in this old historic house. I think the house was built in like 1920s or something if that, and it still stands with the, like, the original rooms and everything. Uh-huh. Um, and I'll tell you what, I know meatloaf is a weird thing to order at a restaurant. No, it's not. They've got the best meatloaf you'll ever have in your life. And it's like, it's a nice restaurant. It's a very cocktail. Yeah. The bartenders will like make you what you just tell them, you know, right, what, you right. like drink, what flavor and they'll make it. So it's a very, you know, swanky upscale restaurant, but get the meatloaf hands down. Best thing you'll have. Okay. So pork <laughs> and barrel meatloaf. I'm going to put this down. Yep, pork and barrel for meatloaf, steak 48 for the best steak. Um, okay. Those would be my go-tos. What about you guys? What's your what's your go-to? All right. So there is a place that is in um, kind of midtown. Um, it's in a like a one of those areas where it's almost like your urban re residential all kind of mixed together. You know, okay. very like you know, very um, it's urban, but your suburbs, you know, sort of thing. So you have your shopping, your restaurants, your your residential sort of thing. Um, it's called Libby Mill, and there is a restaurant over there called Shag Bark, and I know it has like the funniest name. <laughs> It's like, okay, it was <laughs> legitimate. And I am not a food snob. Like I like good food. I will obviously, if I step, you'd say well, you, you just like food. And this is yeah, true. Like I do like, like to eat. Noise. I eat like a bird, like a pterodactyl. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but I, um, I love this place. And it's for, for one thing, you know, when you just walk into a restaurant, almost when you walk into one of those shops or boutiques where you're literally like, 
I could stay here for hours and hours and hours. If you want me to work just so I can stay here, I'll be happy to do that because I just love this vibe, the way it smells, the way it feels, the music, the how it's, it's just one of those that it's just like, I love this place. Okay. It was, it was definitely a little bit on the pricier side. Um, but it was definitely a foodie sort restaurant. The fried green tomatoes were absolutely to die for. Mm. Then they had a like a butter uh, basted um, just chicken breast. You'd be like, okay, big deal. But it was amazing. No, I'm like, that sounds fantastic. Absolutely, absolutely terrific. So I'm going to actually pivot that back to it reminded me very much of a restaurant that I ate at in the um, Charlotte area um, that was actually in Cornelius. It what was, was called- it? 131, uh, 131, 131 Main Restaurant. Mm-hmm. Have you been there before? I have. It's very good. Okay. So it kind of reminds me of that. Um, okay. Main is a little bit like like a darker, more like, you know, intimate sort of thing, whereas Shag Bark is more that like kind of airy, yes. um, grandmother coastal or coastal grandmother, whatever the style is or something like that. So, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. So now we got some, we got some suggestions there. All right. Let's talk about kind of the general for the Charlotte area. Kind of what would you say is your average prices and price ranges for the area? Yep. So Charlotte Metro, your average right now is about 500. Um, And then if you go outside of it, like obviously if you go towards the lake or you're going to get a little bit more expensive. Average, we're looking at 700 um, towards there. And that's and you can find like you can find a condo up in Davidson around the 400. Okay. It's, it, it might not be like front, but it'll be, you know, it'll be there in Davidson. You'll have that Davidson address. Um, and you can find a condo in Charlotte for about 325. Honestly, okay. anything under the 300 price point is pretty impossible right now. Okay. Um, okay. And that ha- that escalated quickly during COVID years. Like that yeah. happened very very quick. Mm-hmm. Um, so honestly, you can find a, you can find a great home in a good location for about three twenty five townhome. You know, um, but your average right now is about five hundred for your single family detached. Yeah. So yeah. I I actually looked at things earlier um, today because I know obviously you know through our, our the unicorn years the COVID years yeah. um, when we've definitely watched our average sales price for the single family you know go up quite a bit. I was actually very shocked when I pulled it up today. Um, we're now at for single family for our main areas in Richmond, just single family detached work, 475, which is such a jump mm-hmm. from what we were just a couple of years ago. Even like yep. even um latter part of last year, I think you know, maybe we're like three three fifty. So I mean that's a it's a big jump. That's, that's huge. Yeah. COVID really skyrocketed things. I mean, especially for here. So yeah, yeah. I was surprised to see 500. I was, I remember, you know, five years ago, it was like 350. Right, right. You're <laughs> like, yeah. 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 So. Definitely things, definitely things changed. In Thankfully, comparison, though, you know, I think when I kind of hear and talk to other realtors in different areas, like in comparison, and it sounds like you guys too, it's still for a city, it's still an affordable housing market. Absolutely. You know, absolutely. In hindsight. Absolutely. In hindsight, right. Yeah. Compared to many areas, you know, big metro. I mean, we're just like, we're sitting here talking our, you know, little East Coast girls were like, ooh, it's really getting up there. Yeah. There's people coming <laughs> from like California and Arizona and they're like, oh, that's cute. I can maybe yeah, like my garage. Right. <laughs> right. Oh, that's so sweet. Was that your starter home? Yeah, whatever. All right. Let's talk about Traffic and commuting in the Charlotte area. Oh, where are most people commuting to? For the most part, if that live in the general area, and and mm-hmm. about how long is it going to take them to get there? So Charlotte is a big financial hub. Um, mm-hmm. We have a lot of tech, finances, and surprisingly, medical is actually our top employment here. Mm-hmm. Um, and most of those areas, aside from the hospitals, most of those areas are kind of concentrated in uptown still. Okay. Like a lot of the corporate headquarters are still in uptown Charlotte. Um, or if they're not in uptown, a lot of them are going to go to Ballantyne, which is also a corporate center for Charlotte, which is like South Charlotte area. Okay. Um, <sighs> Oh, and during like high peak times, it can take you 40 minutes to get, uh, you know, if you're, if you're looking at like city center down to Valentine, it can take Mm -hmm. you about 45 minutes. And if you're kind of going 
north to the lake from city center, you're looking at about 45 minutes too. So we do have main interstates, like we have 45, 77. So we do have those that you can hop on, but it doesn't help it. Gotcha. <laughs> I will say, I know, I feel like I hear everyone say like traffic is so bad wherever they live. And I think that is all for sure accurate. Right. Charlotte has experienced such a big growth in the past handful of years that we're just adding more people, more people, more people, more people, but our roads are not getting bigger. Yeah. So I'm like, where are we, where are we, where are we putting them? Where are we going? Right. So um, I will say traffic is probably the least desirable thing here in Charlotte. Gotcha. So are you guys the same? Is your traffic really bad too? No. <laughs> oh, man. That is that is something that I think is the and I and I'll call I'll call ourselves this all day long. And this is also why I really wanted to do the city versus city, because I know typically if someone reaches out to me and they go, Hey, I'm interviewing in Charlotte and I'm interviewing in Richmond. I know nine times out of ten, they're gonna end up in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. I, I know this already. Mm -hmm. um, th there are a lot more opportunities there for sure. That being said, with opportunities also comes the not so great parts, which is the, the, the traffic and the congestion, much like the Northern Virginia DC area, of course, right? Um, we're pretty fortunate that we have a lot of the same things that Charlotte have, that it's, we have a, a big financial district. We have a lot of the big, you know, banks, they're just much smaller than they are uh, for Charlotte, right? Um, Medical is also very big, you know, VCU, MCV, big pullers here. Then we have Capital One. Um, of course, we have further south where we have uh, Fort Lee. Um, then you have DuPont typically down there too. A lot of people, not so much now, but from the yesteryears, a lot of people end up in the Richmond area because of railroad. You know, they were all were like came here for the railroad or what have you. Not so much now. Traffic issues in Charlotte, Terrible. more opportunities. Terrible. Um, not so much traffic in Richmond. So slower pace of life. Come to Richmond. If you want to be the hot city drivers of the NASCAR, go to Charlotte. <laughs> it kind of feels right. like they're on the road sometimes. There you go. There you go. All right. Let's play a little game. Still working? Yeah. Still hear me? Okay. I want you to tell, pull up on your phone and tell us about your favorite listing that's on the market right now or that's pended that's a, between about 500 and 550. Okay. Tell us about it. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Okay. So there's, so Charlotte has different pockets, right? Um, mm -hmm. and like everywhere else, location, location, location. So there's this cute little house, um, in Madison park neighborhood. Okay. And, um, it seems extreme. It's 525. It's 1400 square foot, which I know seems a little off, but the location is amazing. So you can actually like walk over to a little pocket called Montford. It's, um, it's like a Charlotte staple where it has a lot of restaurants, some good, some casual. It's got a karaoke bar, um, but it has a lot of local things too, which is really fun. Um, okay. And then it's also walkable to a light rail, which yeah. is our main public transit. So it goes all the way throughout Charlotte. So you can take that light rail all to South End, all to Uptown. So you can hop on and take it to a Panthers game. Um, and it's like fully renovated, these cute little ranch style homes. It's so cute. Oh, it's precious. It's, it's precious. So cute. Yes. Okay. So that was, that was 525. What do you have okay. for 525? Okay. Okay. See, and normally I go to my cute little areas too and go like, this is ridiculous. You know, it's 14, 1600 square feet with one and a half baths and it's, you know, 550 or something. And I'm like, this is crazy, but the area is so cute. Yeah. I let a little, I went a little boring this time. I think you can go, you can go different. You can go suburban. That's right. And be in the 550s. It's still an go. option here too. So that's good. So I'm going to go total burbs. Um, okay. I'm going to do total burbs to uh, it's in Mosley or it's like, that's like the Western part of Chesterfield County. Um, this one is a, a home that's being built like 26, 100 square feet, four bedrooms, two and a half baths, um, normal, normal size lot. And that's at about right at 550. What uh -huh. I love about it is that it has, uh, for one, its kitchen is exactly the vibe I want to go to with my kitchen. Like, we're, what is we're your vibe? Is your vibe like that new organic modern style? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's more of the um, coastal grandmother. I don't have yeah. it. It's just like that okay. very 
It's the same as like the restaurant and the shop I just described. It's like you just want to be there. It just feels okay. good. And it's just the beautiful natural colors. Right. The light. big giant, you know, um, screen porch on the back that's kind of vaulted that you like want to spend a bunch of time out on. Yes. And it's just the, it's that modern uh, new construction feel, but not, not modern. Okay. Just very livable, very, very like, okay, yeah, I have all the things I need check off all the boxes sort mm -hmm. of thing. And that's over in uh, Westerly. Um, so again, yeah, 550. All right. Okay. Brandy, talk to me now about the most expensive listing right now um, in your MLS. Talk to me about that one. Okay. Let's, let's, let's get her pulled up here. Um, okay. Most expensive one in our MLS was listed for 2.2. Okay. Um, it is just under three and a half acres. It is five bedrooms, five bathrooms. It's gorgeous. Um, it's in an area called the sanctuary. So the sanctuary mm -hmm. used to be a protected um, space. So a lot of the homes are very, very countryside feeling. Um, okay. We've got a pool. We've got like five garages. Um, most of these homes in the sanctuary have like two to three kitchens in them. Of They're course. made for entertaining. Yeah, of course. Uh, made for entertaining. It's kind of tucked away. Like you can't, there's only mm. one way in, one way out of this neighborhood. So it's very private. Oh, I love that. It's like bricks or like stone mountain-esque. It's gorgeous. Um, okay. So that's the most expensive one. Honestly, the only thing that would make it better would put it on the lake, but that would, you know, that would bump it a lot. <laughs> so. There you go. There goes the price. Yeah. Well, we have... Um, quite the gem. And when I go into, and I don't know if this, if yours is kind of the same too, our MLS, I noticed that a lot of the outlying areas for the Richmond area will throw their listings into things too. And I oh, always yeah. am like, that doesn't, for me, that doesn't count. Cause it's like, I don't sell those. They're just doing that to kind to of get, get, extra more, exposure, get right? more eyes on it. Yeah. Right. I'm not, I'm going to, I'm going to rule out all the Charlottesville stuff. Like they stick on there. This one though is legit Richmond area. It's in Goochland County, which is just West of Henrico County, if you've ever heard of Short Pump, I don't know if a lot of people will, mm -hmm. you know, not sort of thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one is actually at 9.5, which is pretty high for our area. Wow. Um, this place is uh, to die for. Well, it's, um, you know, a mere 2,500 square feet. So a very quaint, you know, oh, country that's, manner, you that's know. not a huge house for that price. <laughs> no, it's it really isn't. It really yeah. isn't. That's the thing is we sit there and laugh about it for, the, no, it's not. Um, eight bedrooms, uh, eight, nine, oh, eight, eight bedrooms and 2,500 square foot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you where all the other square footage is. I was kind of like, Oh, okay. Look what? at all this stuff. Okay. Um, nine full bathrooms, six half bathrooms, because you know, you know, you never can have too many half bathrooms. So this one is on a 38 acre lake in a very, another very exclusive sort neighborhood. So it's on its lake where, you know, it's on own dock and the little pontoon that you can tool around on. Then it has its beautiful pool that overlooks the lake and it's beautiful hardscaping that has kind of its own little pond, its little baby pond with all the waterfall feature sort of thing. The lead into this house for one, it's, um, they have two different, there's three different detached buildings on the property. Too. Oh, it's 17 acres too. Yes. Um, it has I'm really picture this in my head. I'm like, okay, oh, oh, wait bedrooms, till you see, wait till you see. Um, bedrooms. It, it, it's, it's very big. Uh, so it, it has its own pool, amazing hardscaping. It has its own basketball court. Is this like, it a, has, like a school? It's not a school. No, not a school. Um, I don't know who lived here, but um, it's pretty phenomenal. So its own like virtual uh, golf, golfing, whatever. What is that? Yeah, Driving like range yeah. thing. Yeah. That's separate from the basketball course. Plus okay. you have your little guest cottage because of course you're going to be entertaining dignitaries here, I guess. And that's and what you're going to do. But bedrooms and seven bathrooms. Right, right. Well, at least yeah. everyone has a spot. Just everyone has a spot sort of thing. So it was, um, I was like, wow. You know, when you're looking, you're like, which one's my favorite? Oh, well, this is a, that was a no brainer to find that one, Eight. you know, sort of thing. So. You said 2,500 square feet. Oh, no, no. Tw excuse me. 25,000 square feet. Oh, okay. You're like, oh my God. <laughs> What is going on? <laughs> Someone's okay, trying. Someone's I'm trying like, to. Where is, I'm like, where's the kitchen? Where is the? Where are these people? And knowing me, I probably did say 2,500. <laughs> okay, 
Okay. Now you it's can, hard. You can see what's coming up in my head. I'm just like, okay, I see lots of bedrooms, lots of toilets happening. Where's the rest of the there's house? Ones, there's ones that you see, like, you know, the <laughs> pictures That's like, a oh, huge house. Like, it's a big house. That's a huge, I'm going to have to, you're going to have to send me the address mm -hmm. for that. I'm going to have to Google it because that's nuts. Yep. It, it, uh, 501 Rivergate Drive. In Rivergate? Google. Rivergate Drive. 501 Rivergate Drive. It is quite the manor home. Okay. I'm going to have to Google that one. There you go. For sure. That seems, that seems aggressive for a house. It's, it's, it's quite a bit. It was, it surprised <laughs> me. It's not what I know. We see some interesting things and in all around here for sure. Some really pretty places, but that definitely is one of the larger ones. I know they'll be talking about that in the like little home magazines, you know, sort of thing. So. Interesting. I'm very, very cool. cool. That one. Well, I have learned actually a lot about Charlotte today um, that I did not know. So okay. I'm excited Good. about that. Excited Good. about that. It's and I, it's a really cool city to live in. Um, it's really the one thing that stands out most about it is it's easy other than the traffic, other than the traffic. Um, it is easy to live here. And I think it has a lot to do with, we don't have the tourism, yeah, but we have something for everybody. You know, mm -hmm. what if you like beach, you got it, you got mountains. We have an amazing airport. So wherever you want to go, it's here. Yeah. Um, so it, re it really is a good city to live in. If you had to sum up, Richmond, what would, what would you say? Uh, Richmond, I would say is like, if you are tired of big city living, if you want to come to the spot that is in between everything, super central to everything, super easy airport, no traffic, but has all the cultural things, the good schools, the great housing, come to the Richmond area. Okay. That's what you want. So. Okay. The Charlotte wannabe, <laughs> the slower Charlotte. Uh, I would I would take the slower Charlotte occasionally. It's growing. It's growing here quick. So very good. All good things. Very good. Well, Brandy, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you, Erin. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us for another City versus City. And remember, leave everything better. Once again, if this is your first time to our channel and you want to learn everything there is to know about living in Richmond, Virginia. Tap that like button, hit subscribe, and click that little bell so you're notified every time we release a new video.